Hi everybody, I just want to show you an app called Control Center which is basically the iOS 7 Control Center um, on your Android device, it's application it's created by High Tool Studio, so if you do decide to flash it then make sure you thank them and support them in any way possible, maybe you can rate it 5 star so to get the application you go to your Play Store and type in Control Center and basically make sure you get the one called High Tool Studio that's the one I'm showing you today so install it like normal once you've installed it um, as far as I remember the server should be off so you just turn it on um, then you go to configure touchable area which is the area you will have to touch for the control center to be activated bear in mind this um, application doesn't uh, hasn't lagged since I've started using it um, even on the previous version I've been using this for a couple of hours now it's been totally fine the lag you may see might be uh, because I'm recording so just keep that in mind um, so once you click on touchable area as you can see here uh, you can just change the area where t you would have to touch to activate the um, control center so I've got the width normally I keep the width roughly about that much and I keep it as low as possible so it, if I'm typing on anything it doesn't really get in the way I can still type easily then you can have the arrow indicator to be on as you can see on the bottom left you could keep it on always or if you know uh, um, that it's there you could just keep it off up to you the green um, the green bar won't always be there it's just to show you um, it's, ju it's, it's just to show you that uh, that's the space that you would need to touch um, to activate it so then you will click to expand you can keep it on and off I normally keep it off um, you've got touch vibration which is basically when you when you're going into your um, control center when you can start when you click the uh, touchable area it'll have a little vibration so um, I normally keep it off but you can keep it on according to you however you like it the lock screen display so basically if you want to activate in lock screen you can keep it on obviously that's a really good feature so as you can see I'll lock my device as you can see I can normally unlock the um, device as well but I could I could also, sorry about that if I click the touchable area then my control center would come and if I do it normally then I would unlock the device so you can see that perfectly works too so once you configure that then you can go to background which is basically the background color of the control center so I've, I normally keep it black so um, once you once you have your um, color set, you just um, um, click on it, and basically it'll, um, it'll change to what you set it to. Obviously, you can change the channel here, depending on how you like it. You also got toggles, which is really good. As far as I can remember, I don't think they had this in the previous version. That way, it's a really good option. You could just uh, rearrange the toggle to how you like it. Obviously, everyone um, likes um, their um, order different. So that's good. You can have your silent mode maybe here. Um, either way, it's really good. You got reset toggles, which is basically the toggles that you have at the bottom. If you can see, I've got my different applications. Basically, if you reset it, all of them will be deleted, and you can add them just like how you got the application new. Um, so that's really good. And it's also got um, configure a music playback app, which is basically um, when you're in your control center, as you can see in the middle, I've got Walkman set up. So when you play it, um, so in application to open. So I'm sure a lot of you probably like um, Player Pro or Power Amp. You can configure it to whichever one you want. I've got Walkman, so I've just configured it to Walkman. Um, that's about it. Then you got contact us and share with friends. So now we'll just go into the actual um, control center. I'll show you everything there. So you got you got your normal standard toggles. You got Wi-Fi. You got um, data connection. You got I have tested all of these, so I kind of show you that they do work. You got all the um, timeout: two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen seconds. I'll keep it to normally one minute. So this comes in handy when you're reading something. You could just quickly change it. So you got your sync. Turn my sync off. Then you got GPS, airplane mode. You know, so that's really good. And obviously, if you hold on to the toggle it'll take you to the settings as well so just works like your normal um, Android um, what's it toggles just like how you if you hold on to it it'll take it to the settings so it basically does the same thing so as you can see that's really good 
um, you could also uh, rearrange them I've already to um, told you about that but I just want to show you that you you just have to click on that um, circle the icon to go into the um, control center to rearrange it um, so you could also um, change your brightness and you have your automatic um, brightness as well if your device does support it then it'll work brightness works flawlessly I remember the last version it wasn't working but they quickly fixed it after my video so this one does work nice and um, fine everything works uh, totally fine um, it's also got um, a media player so it, it works really good as well as you can see I could change it here the volume or I could change it there as well depends how you, uh, how would you want to do it um, so that's good obviously you can choose a different music player as well and from here you can straight go into the music player as well so that works perfectly fine memory usage your battery so it's got your storage and free this is basically an advertisement to um, game center which is understandable because the application is free so yeah um, um, I like the fact that it's got memory, it to see how much memory is being taken at the precise time. And then afterwards you got your applications, so you got your torch, you know, which works, uh, your flashlight which works um, perfectly fine. You got your, um, say clock, clock application, you also got your you know, um, calculator, your camera, whatnot. You got settings, you can go into your settings quickly, and also you've got the settings of the application which is here. So all them were already set up by that, and then I added my own three, and and it really works smoothly. I haven't, I actually really like it. It's got um, basically you could just go into those applications that you always go to. An application maybe multitasking would be much easier with this. Um, so that's about it, really. Um, thanks. And uh, just a new thing that I really like about it: the the animation, and it's also um, I like the animation where. This is coming from the bottom, and the day and the day is coming from the top. Just a little nice feature. I also um, would recommend it because it's just much easier if you got, um, especially if your phone's big and your small little hands. Your hands are small. It's always much better to go in the um, set your toggles from the bottom. You know, from the top it'll be you have a bit if you got small hands. So um, I would recommend um, this app because it does help a lot. <coughs> As far as the appearance goes, I think it looks really nice. Sorry about that. Um, because I'm recording, I think it's uh, lagging. I'm sure you it's not due to the app. Um, the link for the app will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, if you do have any um, suggestions, you can suggest the developer. I'm just doing the review. Um, Obviously, later on, this will have um, updates, which will be really good. Um, I've actually found it perfect. I, I, don't, I don't really have anything to suggest, but um, I'm sure the developer would be more than happy to hear your comments. So I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next video.